Hey guys, it's Rob from the Facebook Myocardial Bridge Support Group. Here's another myth about myocardial bridges. And it's the myth that unroofing surgery doesn't work because some people still have symptoms after surgery. Okay? Um, this is a, a big myth and it's got multiple facets to it. So we have to break it down. First of all, to say that a surgery worked or not, you have to define what worked means, okay? And what makes that more complicated or complex in the case of a myocardial bridge is that on the one hand, you want to remove in the surgery the band of muscle, the actual band of muscle that's squashing the artery, okay? Now, that part is going to work, okay? As long as they don't mess it up, like that part will work. You're going to take the band of muscle off. It's going to stop compressing the artery. So right there, it, it has to work. You're no longer going to have anything compressing your artery, okay? That, that has to work. The other part of it is that there's three symptoms that myocardial bridges cause, okay? In other words, there's three other things that are not itself the myocardial bridge, but that are caused by the myocardial bridge, which in turn cause you symptoms. Okay, this is what a lot of people don't understand, including a lot of doctors. We really have to understand this, okay? In other words, your symptoms of a myocardial bridge, I can think of at least four things that, are, that could be causing your symptoms, all related to the myocardial bridge. It's the bridge itself, okay? We, we unroof that, we get rid of that, it's gone, it no longer exists, it's not coming back. But the three other things are the things that people don't fully recognize, okay? So we need to talk about those. Those three things, okay, the big three, are endothelial dysfunction, which causes vasospasms, uh, just a just a straight up narrowed artery. You have a usually have a smaller artery because it was in a myocardial bridge. A lot of people don't recognize that your artery is probably significantly smaller than a normal artery. That's important to realize because you're getting less blood flow to begin with. And then thirdly, you have plaque. Okay, most people have some sort of plaque right before the myocardial bridge, okay? So we know that the bridge has to fix the first thing. You have to, when you roof, this, roof the uh, bridge, it has to fix the compression. It's no longer there because the artery does not, uh, the, the band of muscle no longer exists. It's been cut away. What about the other three things? Well, the first of the other three things, uh, the endothelial dysfunction, that uh, can improve because of unroofing surgery. It's well known that it takes a long time. It may take a year, two years, three years. Okay, it gradually gets better though. Okay, um, I'll come back to that in just a second. The other one, uh, other two, the smaller artery and the plaque. Now the plaque is not going to get fixed because of surgery, because of that surgery. But you can then have a have a, a guy go in and do angioplasty and, and with the balloon and push out the artery and fix the plaque part, okay? That's a separate issue. So no, you're, you're, you're my, if you have 50% plaque in front of your myocardial bridge and you're wondering why you still have symptoms, well, maybe it's because of the 50% plaque plus the narrow artery plus the endothelial dysfunction, et cetera, okay? And then third thing, the narrow artery, it's not known fully whether that um, will get bigger or what. Uh, my intuition is that it probably might a little bit, but not that much over time because the arteries, depending on how old you are too. Okay. Um, but so you have to realize that when you say, did a surgery work? You're talking about all of those things. Okay. Um, things that are immediate, like, yes, you cut away the myocardial bridge. It's no longer there. You're no longer having your arteries squeezed every time. You, it has to, it has to help in that sec that sense, has to. Okay, you're no longer getting compression in that way. But um, you still have a smaller artery and you still have the plaque unless they did angioplasty along with it. And you still have this endothelial dysfunction. Now let's talk about that, okay? The endothelial dysfunction, well, I should make another video, probably will, is it means that the endothelium or the lining of your artery, of that garden hose, is not working properly. Its job is to basically take signals like from the nitric oxide going through there and then expand when it needs to, kind of blow the hose up, make it bigger when you need more flow, okay? And it's believed, Stanford believes that the physical pounding of a myocardial bridge, just squashing that hose all the time, 
causes the lining of that artery, the endothelium, to not function right. In other words, when it's supposed to open, it doesn't. And not only does it not open, but it goes the other way, it collapses, okay? Now, just to be clear, so avoid confusion, because you might look up endothelial dysfunction on the internet. Endothelial dysfunction can be in many parts of the body for many different reasons, from smoking, from too much sugars, from, you know, et cetera, et cetera. This is, when you have endothelial dysfunction from a myocardial bridge, we're talking about in the bridge. So if your bridge is this long, it's that long. In other words, it's acute, it's specific. Okay? It's not generalized over a wide area. It's not diffuse. Okay, So yes, you might also have endothelial dysfunction throughout your, uh, your coronary arteries in general or your body, whatever, from other reasons, from smoking and sugar, who knows what. But we're just talking about specifically in that artery, which comes from the physical mashing of that artery under the bridge. Okay, That's going to take, usually depending how old you are, how long it's been pressing on that, on that artery, it can take anywhere from, you know, it takes years for that to heal. It probably, honestly, it probably would never be back to 100%. That's the bad news. The good news is that I can tell you from experience, I had surgery at the age of 45, three and a half years ago. Um, I, my, my endothelial dysfunction has improved, I think, about 70 to 80%, something like that, okay, in, in three and a half years. It's a heck of a lot better than it was before, I can tell you that, okay? 70 to 80% improvement on that is... You know, you have spasms, but they're not like before. It's not like something you have to stop what you're doing or anything like that, okay? It's much better. That's me. Um, so basically, the worse your endothelial dysfunction was, the longer it's going to take to heal. So when a doctor says, well, I'm not sure, or somebody says, I'm not sure if this surgery works because I heard people still have symptoms, the answer ought to be, well, why would that make you say the surgery didn't work? Of course, people will still have symptoms if their artery was already narrowed. Of course, they're still going to have the plaque if that was there before and you didn't take it out. And of course, they're still going to have endothelial dysfunction if that's been there for the last 45 years or 60 years of their life. Of course, it's still going to be there. No one would have expected it to disappear magically just because you cut uh, a piece of band of muscle off of the heart, off of the artery. Okay, You didn't expect those to change. That's the bad news. But the good news is that you did expect the compression to change, first of all. It's no longer being compressed under the bridge. But secondly, and this is probably the thing we need to highlight most, it gives you the opportunity, the surgery, for that endothelial dysfunction to heal. In other words, if you don't do the unroofing, your endothelial dysfunction will get worse. It will decline, it will get even worse over time because it's going to continue to mash that artery and your plaque will get worse too. Whereas if you have the surgery, you give yourself even a chance to have that endothelial dysfunction reverse and change and get better instead of worse. So there's, in other words, there is no option to just stay the same. Okay, for stasis, for just, you know, equilibrium. There's no option to just keep it the way it is. It's going to get worse or it's going to get better. You know, the, the, the curve is going to go up or it's going to go down. There's no, like, stay the same on the endothelial dysfunction. Okay, and usually on the plaque too. Okay, so when, I, when you say, well, I'm not sure if the surgery works, you don't know that because you have to wait sometimes three and even four years or more to find out how that endothelial dysfunction healed. And just in terms of the endothelial dysfunction, Okay, it may work, but it takes time on the endothelial dysfunction. But besides that, uh, it has to work when it comes to simply not compressing the artery anymore, because there's there's literally nothing there anymore. There is no band of muscle present. The myocardial bridge is gone. Okay, they cut it away. It doesn't come back. Okay, so that's the general idea. The question is. Um, because people after surgery sometimes have symptoms. Does that mean it doesn't work? No, it doesn't at all. Because it, it, the, the removal of the muscle has to um, decompress the artery. It's no longer being compressed. You no longer have a myocardial bridge. And you've just given yourself the only opportunity you had to allow the endothelial dysfunction to get better. If you had chosen not to have the surgery, it will get worse. And it certainly cannot get better unless that bridge is gone. Okay, so... In that sense, that worked too, because it, 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 it worked and it gave you the opportunity. And then you have to see what happens over the next two, three, four years as that artery has to heal. Okay. 
just to be clear, what does it mean to heal? It means the inside of that artery, the endothelium, that has to expand open um, when blood comes through, it has to reform itself. It has to you know, regrow. The cells on the inside of the artery have to, on the lining, have to reform and regrow. That's clearly not going to happen the day after surgery. Why would anyone expect that it would, right? But it does happen over two, three, four, five years in many people. Okay, there's no guarantees about how much percentage you can get back of your original and uh, endothelial function, but it's you you have a you have a, a good chance of getting better. Okay, so that's a common misconception. Uh, you know, Stanford surveys, the Seattle Angina surveys, say that 80% of patients uh, post-op say that they feel 80% better. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, that means that <laughs> you know. Uh, you could still be in uh, either the minority, a small minority, and still feel 50% better, 60% better, whatever. So that's pretty good too. Okay, so on our site, the Facebook Myocardial Bridge Support Group, we have a lot of myths in, a, uh, in the Frequently Asked Questions document. I hope to see you there.